just for a final thing, I want it to be either Glenn, Maggie, Abe, <laughs> or Daryl. Just so it's like a major thing. <laughs>Hey guys, what's up? Today we're going to be talking about The Walking Dead, Season 6. Our predictions on who dies and maybe just some general uh, thoughts on the, the show. But we'll see if we have enough time for that. But anyways, let's get right into that right off the bat, as they say. Crushing it. <laughs> <laughs> who do you guys think? I guess we could start probably with Alex. I would just start with me. Because <laughs> you're so prepared. Who's getting I, the bat, Alex? You know what? I've been thinking about this, and I'm, I'm guessing it's going to be Glenn. That's my prediction. Because I don't think it's going to be Rick. I don't think it's going to be Carl. Like, I don't think it's going to be Michonne. And if we go past that, like, they're not going to kill off Daryl, I feel. Like, Daryl's got, like, this really interesting character development that's been going on. And Glenn does, too. Don't get me wrong. But I feel like... Like... Glenn dying would make Maggie's life a lot more interesting and like whatever they name the kid's name You know, it's gonna be more interesting I feel like that's gonna be the most impact and like the least amount of character development is gonna get in the way because Glenn's developed a lot already and I don't see a lot of mature I don't see him maturing more Yeah from here on out so the only That's thing Glenn prediction. could really turn into is like go full Rick. Yeah, he, he, he could, you know, be corrupted, yeah. I guess. That is true. Like if, especially like if, if Maggie died, what you're saying, totally true. Yeah, Glenn Rick. would be insane. <laughs> so here's the other thing. Do you think that because we already have one baby on the show, do you think they're gonna have two babies? Or do you think that might be a I, reason that Maggie either through this or something else? You know what, like, it's hard enough having one baby. Like, I imagine the only thing that'll make it harder is having another baby who's crying and screaming and all that stuff again, and you gotta get all yeah. these supplies again. Well, that being said, Judith is actually pretty well behaved for a baby, in my opinion. Yeah, well, like, I think, because they have, like, because now we have, like, um, Alexandria, and yeah. uh, we have the kingdom, and um, the sanctuary, which is Negan's place or whatever. So these are all, like, really protective places, so I don't think the kid issue they probably want to repopulate yeah, like if but the, if, if, the, if one of the babies gets sick for example like there's a lot more chance that there's like two babies i don't know it's my my thing was more just like statistics or logistically on the show like keeping up with like the babies is, and stuff like that if rick was in negan's position where he pretty much was the owner of like towns and stuff whatever then maybe it would be in all right position because he treats everyone that he knew more from the beginning of the outbreak a lot better. He treats them better than the other people. So I think Maggie and the kid would be fucking peachy. But since they are owned by Negan and now the kid can be used as leverage for like... Yeah, for like anything. For <laughs> material or whatever. Like, I'm going to beat Maggie's kid in front of you and blah, 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 blah. Then that'd be kind of brutal. But Yeah. So the other thing is another character who seems to have like his development is kind of flattened or his chance to die could be soon i think would be abe just because of the whole sasha and rosita thing you know what i think would be cool though if he killed sasha off and then abraham <laughs> abraham would go fucking crazy and like might even start a rebellion against rick because he's like you didn't fucking lead us properly you asshole because you know what actually if they don't get rid of them then you're going to have Abe's kid, you're going to have Maggie's kid, you're going to have Judith. <laughs> That's going to be a lot of fucking babies. I feel like one them. of them's got to go. <laughs> I agree. The thing is, is that also, I'd be kind of, kind of almost like ironic in my opinion if Sasha and them died. Because literally, like, right before this, like, starting of this arc, they were both on the mood to just die. Like, yeah. anything they could do to be in the danger, to be close to death. They wanted to be in, like in yeah. the car when they're moving all the zombies and stuff. So finally, they actually are like, I can be human now. And then for them to kill them off would be so... The thing is with that, they've positioned almost every character. So like Maggie told Glenn she, he wouldn't need her picture anymore. And then, uh, so that's <laughs> another thing. Then yeah, Sasha and Abe were basically at one point like, fuck it. Like, well, Sasha more than anyone was like, I want to die kind of. 
Um, Eugene gave Rick the recipe or whatever for making bullets. Um, like yeah, right before. I don't want I'm you. just but saying that that, is, that, that <laughs> one in st in compared to all the other ones, the other ones are all like, okay, we are not gonna die. We own the world type idea. You know what I mean? Eugene gave him the bullets because he's like, I could die right now. Here's the bullets. So in my opinion, I think Eugene is one of the few that are like safe. I think the other reason he's might be safe is because again, they said they were gonna kill off a major character, whatever that means to the directors. So yeah. Eugene isn't like they wouldn't say that if there wasn't already major like there's yeah. no choice like Be they're all major characters in our mind. Yeah, and the, the other one that's interesting is like Daryl is injured and he need like Negan obviously made it clear he wants people to work for him. So there's two people on there like Maggie's sick and fucking pregnant and shit. Daryl's like shot in the shoulder and looks like he's fucking dying in that scene or whatever. So like, I don't know, maybe that's another. But the other thing is because of Daryl's relationship with Dwight so far and like all the like crap he's been through with Dwight, like I feel like maybe that's a reason to keep him on for those two characters to keep yeah, developing that, or like, something. Coral. Yeah, or like maybe they randomly become friends and <laughs> because <Coral>. Dwight. <laughs> Sorry, I thought it was a good word. Because like, <laughs> From the teasers of season seven and just from what you see in season six where Dwight like obviously gets punished because half his face is like burned off and shit. Like I'm sure if he had the chance to get back at Negan, like his wife also looks like in the season premiere of, or trailer for seven, she talks about like how bad Negan is and stuff. So I could almost see Dwight and Daryl eventually having some kind of Really, the longer. same way that kind of Glenn and uh, fucking Nicholas or whatever at first were like, obviously hated each other, and then eventually Nicholas kind of became his bitch. And the thing is, is that Glenn and Nicholas, because he, he like kind of like took Nicholas under his shoulder. I don't think that would yeah, that's boy, true. But I couldn't understand what you're saying though. Yeah. So I don't know. That might be a reason to keep Daryl on. He's not in the comics though, so that's who knows. But I think there's more development with him. I do think, like you say, like Glenn, obviously, if you don't know, Glenn dies in the comics. Spoiler. <laughs> <laughs> I'm pretty sure. Spoiler. <laughs> <laughs> um, and uh, yeah, Abe, I like either him or one of the girls he's associated with, if one of those people died. That's the other thing. They could maybe kill off a major character and then through some circumstance where the other person flips the shit. Once they die, maybe another person yeah. gets killed. So I don't know. Maybe it's like Glenn and then some Rosita or Glenn and Abe or Glenn and Sasha. But probably definitely, I think Glenn is on the chopping block. Even though he dies in the comics, with all the fake outs they did this season of Glenn dying or almost dying, that might have been like just trolling with us. Yeah. Because yeah. Glenn also is the one that looks at the pictures when they go into the compound where the satellite shit is for Negan he's the one that looks at the pictures of all the bashed in faces or whatever so like that's another maybe telling that that's his foreshadowing <laughs> but yeah I, don't I think know we can it. all agree that it's not gonna be Carl yeah because I mean he's if uh, Carl Negan's... died like Rick has gone through enough shit I don't <laughs> think there's, it's going to affect Rick at that point because he'd be like, well, I lost everything yeah. else. <laughs> well, the only <laughs> other thing is Michonne being his third freaking yeah, wife. Every time he falls in love with someone at this point, they pretty much die off pretty, yeah. pretty quick. So imagine what if Negan actually killed Michonne, like Rick would just be like. I don't think Rick would sit idly by if that happened. I, I don't know. Yeah, like he's like, that's my last piece well, of poop. The other thing is, I don't think that would happen. Because we all know, like, Michonne and Carl's, like, relationship, too. Oh, might get so, Carl doing a little Rick. So <laughs> <full> insanity. <laughs> nice. Carl would lose his mind, too. And since yeah. Carl is pretty much the one that he locks, oh, what's her name, in the door because he wants to actually fight the saviors and kill people. So, yeah. Yeah, he's still got character development ahead he of him, for sure. Mind. And I think the... The other thing is, well, like when Negan's about to bash whoever's getting killed, he points to the right and says, uh, feed or 
take his son, feed his eye to his father or whatever. So like, you know that Carl's over there yeah, because he kind of nods to him being over there. So it's not Carl that's in front of him. I think we can all agree on that. And Rick, I don't, I obviously don't think he's going to die, but if they did randomly pull that, it would still be possible in the way that they worded how he was positioned. Because you could talk in third person, like, for example, take the son's eye out and feed it to his father. Like, if well, you're I mean, right like in front of him. He could be pointing at one of his workers and be like, take that is, that, Yeah, that is, that is true too. <clears throat> but I don't think they're going to kill off Rick, obviously. But they could if they wanted to, I think. Because they have, if Glenn dies in the comics, they could make him kind of the leader or Daryl, who's not even in the comics. And that would be a game changer for the show because apparently in the comics, like I haven't read past it, but apparently Rick turns into kind of like a useless character after a certain amount of time. Okay. So I don't know, but Sam, what's your prediction? Uh, I don't want to say it's Glenn just because just cause everyone's saying it's Glenn. No, just because the walking dead comic and the show are so different. And since Rob likes to throw curveballs all the time, I don't want to say it. I could almost see it being Maggie because she's sick with the kid. And because obviously, like you guys were saying, it'd be ridiculous with another kid. Or she might miscarriage because of being sick and the kid, blah, 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 blah. Yeah, that's the other way the kid could get. Yeah. Like if she, if Glenn dies and she goes through a ton of stress or whatever, yeah, then that's another way that that might happen. But yeah, so you're I saying could pretty I could, <laughs> <laughs> but at the same, it's so hard because you could say I want I could say Maggie, but then Glenn would lose his mind, and then both of them would die. So then like, maybe in that my situation, <laughs> both of them would die off, anyways. Uh, maybe um, that's why season seven be... doesn't end with a cliffhanger because everyone's just dead. Done. <laughs> 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 Walking Dead, the Negan story. <laughs> <laughs> so, I don't know. I could see it also Daryl dying. Just because he's... Not in the comics. Not in the comics. And, and Carol because left, so he's, he's going to be all sad. Not, I don't know. In my personal opinion, he's kind of like... His character development is kind of like falling off. Yeah, like he's... Opinion, he's kind of like leveled out now. Because you kind of see like him... Like start... Like because before he doesn't really care about anything. He just kind of does his own thing. Hunts and blah, 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 blah. And then he cares for someone, and then crazy shit happens with them, and then he goes and tries to find them, and then he kind of just does that, that the whole time for the whole show. So after yeah. we've seen it like six or seven times, it's like, okay, I've seen you do the same shit, Daryl, every time. And look at this, he got everyone fucking caught because he went on a fucking little tangent about trying to find someone again. So. Yeah, and that's kind of, in a way, too, it's Daryl's. And it's Rick's fault too, but it's Daryl also kind of brought this Negan stuff on when he, one, found Dwight and let him go, and then two, he blew up the group. That he was the first one that killed yeah, them. But that was in defense too. Rick said it, right? Yeah. So I don't know, but yeah, his character development could thin out unless something else that happens in the comics actually happens well, he to Daryl. He Carol's left yet, does he? So, yeah, I don't think so, because when he goes out, at first, when I was watching it, I thought he's going after Carol, but then it's obvious he's going after Dwight yeah. instead, so I don't think he knows about No, he didn't know. Because, because didn't... they go up to the gate at one point, and... No, the, the Carol's love interest tells Rick, oh yeah, yeah. Carol left. And then oh, they go up yeah. to the gate, and then they're like, oh, where are you guys going? Fucking Glenn and all of them left, and he's like, what? <laughs> Why the fuck did they leave? Did they leave to go get Carol? And they're like, no, Carol fucking yeah. left afterwards. Yeah, okay. Yeah, so I think if Daryl found out that Carol left, that might make something interesting. Maybe we'll have a little little party of three with the Morgan and the Carol and the Daryl. Yeah. The other thing <laughs> is, in the comics, there's an arc with Carl that's really important in the show, and if they switch that with Daryl, it would give him more... Uh, like a lot more development coming up yeah. so maybe that's why he doesn't die but that's, that's the thing like everyone it could be glenn it could be Maggie, it could be daryl it could be abe well, like it's, it's so hard many. to compare it to the comics because there's so many more characters and there's so much like everyone has it's so intertwined now 
And Why Eugene's not like Sam in the comics. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, I don't know. Personally, I don't know. I could see Daryl dying off just because, like you're saying, like, of him being injured and he wants people that can work for him and gets up. But at the same time, he's a hunter, so. Yeah. I don't, know I don't think Negan's really making a choice. He just did it by chance, didn't he? That's yeah, true. I, I don't think we should really be looking into it that much. But Yeah, but at the same time, Negan's not a stupid person, so I could see him doing that before, like the whole eeny, meeny, miny, mo, and he can like kind of like pinpoint where it's going to go, but he makes everyone in the group think it's by chance. So they don't feel like he's chosen someone. Or he's just batshit crazy and wants to beat <laughs> anyone's head in and can't make a decision. I think he's more menacing in the way where, like, he's just playing with the group the whole time. So when he, it's like, oh, I know. I think, it's mode, like a, like, I think it's more like a Joker thing where it's just like, just wants to watch the world burn, doesn't give a shit, and just wants to fucking beat someone's head in. It's just random. Yeah, well, yeah. he also wants to show Rick, though, that he owns him. Well, the thing is, I guess he doesn't know any of them personally or how they're connected or whatever, but you could probably tell. You can't really tell him. Until we yeah. see who he's um, beating the fuck out of. That's the thing. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah. So you're who? Who do you think one or two characters? I'd say Daryl. Daryl. I'm gonna personally. I'm I'm gonna go with Glenn or Abraham. Because I think one she of their. Wants to kill my character off. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Alex. Because <laughs> one of them's plot development seems to be thinning out and the other one is a major character that would make multiple people on the on the show flip a shit and, yeah 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 because yeah. i think if abraham died sasha's character arc wouldn't be that interesting i don't know i feel like she's already had a depression stage she didn't really get back up to like being an optimist she's always just been a little pessimist so that's what i mean like they just literally got back to being optimistic not even though like i, don't I guess the rv scene where they're talking about having a kid kind of but that's the only of, that's what i mean they literally like, like on the verge scene. they were literally <laughs> on the verge of being optimistic and it is <laughs> yeah. yeah all right sounds good also just for disclosure at least i know about the rumors of people that have been spying on sets and realizing that there's two characters missing from the first episode or the first shot however they could shoot those episodes completely out of order so it's not really telling they still got a while to go there so anyways yeah for sure for sure anyways, guys okay so glenn daryl and i think glenn or abe or Maggie, if it comes to that. Just keep going. Nice. <laughs> or this person. Okay, fuck it. Somebody's going to fucking die. Tune in. <laughs> Should be interesting. I want it to be, though, just for a final thing, I want it to be either Glenn, Maggie, Abe, <laughs> or Daryl. Just so it's like a major thing. There's, there's one half. Well, the, one, okay the with. one, if you want to do one protection where everything would... The one character I think that would make everyone flip up the most, in my opinion, would be Maggie. I think it's a be... woman that's pregnant yeah. that would make Rick go Especially fuck since we've seen her, like, going towards this, like, leadership role the whole season, and I'm pretty sure the season before it, the whole time, and, and everyone just, loves boom, Maggie. she didn't get to do it. And everyone loved Maggie, so I don't know. I think Maggie she would make a move. Yeah, make a move. move. It would be the most brutal one. Yeah. yeah. All right, guys, that's our thoughts. Well, who do you think is going to die? What do you think? What did you think of the season? We might do another topic on that. But uh, anyways, we're clocking out. Have a good one. Hammer off. <laughs> See you guys. Bye.